Well, hello, my friends. Welcome back to the bench. Today we're going to be testing magnetic stirrers. Now, uh, these are made for uh, labs where they stir up uh, chemicals and whatnot for uh, laboratories. But uh, I got the idea um, from that last paint mixer that I reviewed that I love, that Vortex one, that I, I actually put some paint in it in my thinner and just let it thin itself and it wasn't bad it was a little crushing so I was trying to come up with a way of a more inexpensive way of mixing my paint you know thinning it I should say and instead of using these I mean I cut these in half these uh, sticks you actually got to cut them with this because the you know, making a mess as far as dust goes so I end up cutting a lot of the stairs in half and mixing it and I, I will clean some of these cups out but but they're plastic and you get them by the gross so you could just toss them, but particularly when I have a lot of colors to test for you guys, I, I get all the colors ready to go, and then I'm going ahead and just clean out the airbrush between colors. The colors are all ready. But I was thinking if I can eliminate, you know, probably the stick and the cup, I could probably save, even though this is very inexpensive, and I love them. I use them all the time. Maybe there's a run there where I can just go ahead and mix up. So I bought this uh, beautiful um, little beaker here, a lab beaker. It's even got measurements on it and everything, but uh, I, I wanted to use this so in case the, the stirring, you'll see what happens. It creates a vortex, and I think it would, this cup would, it would go flying. But anyway, this is how these work, and I don't know if it's going to work for paint. We're going find, to find out together right now. Um, what happens is, I haven't even opened them yet, so this is all on the air. These little magnetic uh, pills, they look like. You know, I guess they go into the bottom here, and the magnet in the the mixer picks up on it and stirs it, and it makes a vortex and mixes the paint. And then I got this magnetic stick to go in and pull that out, and then we can just go ahead, pull that in the airbrush, and uh, clean this out because it's glass. It's much easier to clean out with acetone or something. But I got all these different size pills, so I'm hoping maybe I can throw one in one of my where's my paint. Maybe I could fit one in my bottle. Yeah, that should fit in the bottom. Now, my friend tested one from Dispay. Dispay has one, and he didn't like it. He thought it was kind of weak, but he liked the idea of it. So um, I went on Amazon, and these are in the $20 to $30 range. Pretty, pretty inexpensive. And um, let's go ahead and open them up. I got two models to see if one is better than the other. This is a much bigger box than the other. Oh, wow. All right, this is much bigger than than I would have imagined in the picture. Wow, look at that. It's way bigger than I thought. Obviously, that's where we're going to place the cup. USB mini back there, a USB-C. Oh, I like this. It's not a just a cable, a USB cable. It's actually a, a plug for the wall. Excellent. And it, this one only came with two pills. And th nothing else in here, I believe. Nope, that looks like it. And the manual. So let's pull this out, put that on there. Let's get this box out of the way. All right, that's one. You can see already. Wow, this is really, really strong. I mean, it'll hold this magazine, this magazine, this manual up. It's it's really, really strong. So I guess it needs to have that grip. Let's see if it grips to the glass, which I imagine it should. It's meant for that. Yeah, oh. Yep. So yeah, it's got a a strong attachment. We will say. All right. Those are the two that came with it, so I'll keep those aside. These are the ones I bought extra. So uh, we will undo this, and let's check out the next one. And then we're going to compare the two side by side. We'll start with water, obviously, and then we'll try it with some paint. All right, there's one. All right, let's take a peek at the other one. Looks like my scale. Oops, same thing. I think it's the same plug. No, it's a little different. Boy, I'll tell you, the casing's the same, but this one don't have the light on it. Look at that. Central casting. They must get all these uh, parts from. Oh, this one has its own magnet. Look at this. Still, you got to put your fingers in there. That That's not a good magnet. Hey, you know what? You can put it in the bottom and hold them while you dump it out. I could see that. Yeah, that would work. Anyway, let's grab this one and see what this one looks like. Oh, here's the manual for this one. box out of here. All right, let's take a look at this one. Oh, this one's really light. 
not saying that's good or bad, but it's much lighter than the other one. Oh, this that's why it's different. It plugs in more of a traditional all right. AC adapter, I guess. Oh, you know what? This one. Oh. Nope, they're they're the same. We check the weight. Yeah, this one's much heavier. Much heavier. Lost my leg with my Nocturne Red on it. All right, so let me plug both of these in. I'll go over this not big manual. Oh, man, not much involved here. All right, I'm going to pause the camera, guys. I'm going to plug them both in. And uh, the plug's underneath the bench here. I think these should reach, but I might need an extension cord. All right, let me go ahead and pause the camera. I'll be right back, and uh, we'll start the testing. All right, we are back, and both are plugged in. Both make a sound when I turn it on. Oh, you can't hear it there. They're pretty quiet, I guess, until we try it with our magnetics. Let's put that in. Let's try uh, one of these. Oh, there we go. All right, let's try without water. Oh, let's turn it around so we can see it. Oh, there we go. Look at that. <laughs> it's going to move around, though. You know what? Maybe when the uh, paint is, uh, uh, the paint, maybe the, you know, the water's in it or the liquid or whatever is going to be in it, we'll weigh it down. Oh, this one's quieter. I think I like this one better. All right, let's see how it does. Let's see if it creates this nice vortex here. Let's put some water in it. All right, here we go. I like how you can adjust the speed of it, which is pretty cool. Oh, there we go. Oh, that quiets it right there. Oh, look at that. All right. Check that out. Let's crank this up. Well, I can mix up a nice big batch of acrylics with this. Look at that. It's nice and quiet. Let's see how fast we can get it going. It, it kind of keeps it in check. It doesn't really go wild at, at a certain point. All right, let's try one here. All right, here we go. This one's a little rougher. Can you hear it? I wonder why. Same principle. I like how I can really dial it down really slow. Particularly if I'm going to mix a lacquer with some thinner. All right. Well, that worked. Uh, I wonder if we can go with a tiny, tiny pill. Look at this. Look at that one. Oop, <laughs> it ran right up to it. All right, let's get this one out. Where's my magnetic? Oh, here it is. All right, let's get this guy out. Yeah, that comes in handy. Huh? Let me get a paper towel. Hold on, guys. All right. I don't want to get it all wet. All right. Let's try this little tiny pill. See if that works. Oh, can you see it? It doesn't have enough to make... Oh, wait, there it goes. It's starting to make the little vortex. Wow, the small pill is really quiet. So I guess it comes down to the size of the little magnetic. Let's try it here. Oh, look at that. It's, it's flying around for some reason. Cause... Oh, it's not catching in the middle. Did you see that, guys? It's like you got to kind of find its way. Oh, oh, I think I got it. Nope, it doesn't like the small pill, that's for sure. That's going to go flying. I'm trying to get it in the center. Pretty funny. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, it loosens up. All right, it's too, it's too, <laughs> it's too small. Let me, uh, let me get this one out. Yeah, let's get them out of here. All right. Yeah, definitely got to go with the big one. So this little pill is a little too small. However, that'll probably fit in a small bottle like the my Mecca Empire size bottles. Let me uh, bring the camera back out. All right, so we're going to try some paint. So let's go ahead and do that. That's the purpose of this. And then we're going to see if uh, these ball bearings will work. 
Let's see if it catches on to these ball bearings. Are these magnetic? It should be. Oh, they're not. Well, maybe a little bit. Nope, they're not magnetic. Well, that's a waste. I was going to try to put the uh, little ball bearings in there, but they're not magnetic. Oh, well. I'm shocked. All right, well, turn that off. All right, let's, uh, let's get some paint here. Hold on one second. We'll try an acrylic first. I got a big bottle of Steinol Res, so let's get rid of some of this water. I got Steinol Res uh, um, Gloss Black, I think is what that is. So let's dump out quite a bit of this. All right, we're going to go with that medium pill that it seems to like the most. And let's put some Steinol Res in here. It's a lot of water, but I still want to see what we get here. Oh, it's a little a little messy, so I think we're going to need a cover. One second, guys. Let me get something to cover it up with. There we go. It's that simple, I guess. Oh, there it is. It's like it hooked in. It wasn't in the center like it was originally. That's why it was making a mess. Yeah, it's, not, it's pretty clean now. You know, I do like this. I got to think of a way I could really, you know, utilize it. I mean, they're really cheap. I don't even think they were 30 bucks. They're like 20 something bucks. But I kind of like it. I like the idea of it. Let me see if it works on this one. Caution here. We're just going to go ahead and uh, put that cap on it. Yeah, this one scented itself better right off the bat. And that is stirred up. I put a lot of water and a lot of paint just for the demo. And that is ready to go. I can mix the pre-mix this, pour it back in too. But uh, yeah, that works. Let's, uh, we're going to try a couple other things. Let's try a lacquer and then we're going to try, uh, see if it'll mix in a cup. And we're going to see if it mixes in my jar right there. So, uh, hold on, let me get the camera back out here. Let me pause this, let me clean this out, come back with a different paint. All right, guys, I'm back quickly because I wanted to show you guys something right here. I'm thinking this is used. The instructions are terrible. They say nothing. They say turn it on and turn it off right here. Basically, that's all it says. But I think, let me grab a big cup here. Hold on. All right, I think... I'm gonna, I was running to the sink, but... Look at that. This holds in the pill. So when you go to pour, see that? It holds the pill. And there it is. Break this off. See that? And now I can take that out separately without getting uh, um, a bunch of paint. There we go. I can just go rinse that out, which is what I'm going to do right now. Excellent. All right. I just want to show you guys that. I think that's what this little uh, pawn chess piece here is for all right cleaned out ready to go let's go ahead and try some uh, uh, mr. hobby here let's try some of this let's go ahead and pour some in I've used this gray quite a bit already, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix this and pour it back in here, because uh, basically getting it uh, airbrush ready. All right? Always clean off the lips of the jars. Remember that, people. It's a very important step here to keeping the paint fresh. All right, let's go ahead. Uh, all right, here, right next to me, some leveling thinner. And this paint can be thinned quite a bit. We all know that. There we go. All right. So now the whole purpose here is instead of using cups and sticks for everything, you know, I'm going to get away from these sticks, which I just used, and I'm going to start using my aluminum sticks here. These are from Hobby Mio, I think. And then just wipe these off. 
So we're going into a more of a recycling, reusable uh, situation here as we get busier and busier as far as paint tests go. But let's go ahead and drop in this pill. All right. Here we go. I'm going to be brave with Oh, look at that. Really, really low key, too. Look at it. You can see the pill because I didn't uh, put a lot in like I did the water. But you got to get it centered, it would seem. Let's get around this side. But here's what you got to do you got to cap it off. But that'll take much. It's funny, it's moving around, but it's a glass that really was. I don't know if it's made for it or not, but it's just a perfect glass that I found on Amazon. But uh, hey, don't forget, because it's low, too. But we're going to try this in a different format, too. We're going to try it in one of my little cups here, too. But I think it's not going to work in the cup. That's just what I think. But unless you go on a very low scale, keeping it low key, let's go ahead to the other brand. I seem to like this one a bit more. Let's get this so it's like that. There we go. This one's really quiet, but I think that's as far as you got to go, as far as uh, speed-wise. I mean, I don't have to crank this up, but this one seems to work better. So I'm going to recommend this brand if you guys are even interested in this gadget. This Enzesser, Enzeser, what are these names? Sheesh. And I already got it marked up. Get that off of there, that acrylic. So there it is. So let's see. I'm cranking it up a little more. Yeah, then it starts to splatter. So well, keep a piece of plastic aside for a cap. But let me see how it mixed up. I think it's pretty good. Let me see. So, yep, that's mixed up good. Now with this, boom, we are ready to go. Let's pan this out. So that did work. Now I don't think these small cups are going to be the way to go. I think it's going to have to be one of these larger ones. Well, let's go ahead and just dump this into here. Pill and all. Now, I'm trying to get this. Now this is easy to clean. I just splash this with some acid. Oh, my look at this, my little <laughs> my, the magnetic grabber. Grabbed onto it. Um, I don't trust this because I wow, it really sinks on here because I guess it's it's got a better grip between the plastic because it's much thinner. Oh 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 oh! Watch the splashing. It won't spin with the cup right away. It seems to be grabbing it. It likes the glass better. I'm gonna cap this off. Yeah, it'll work, but you got to keep a cap on it. So it doesn't like the plastic. It, it, it pulls too much and it drags. See it? And splatters a lot, too. So let's get that off of here. Let's clean off this paint, which should come right off. Yep. All right, got a little bit on here, but who cares? That's what the, the, uh, the old bench ends up looking like quite a bit. There we go. Got it. You guys probably couldn't even see that on the camera. Covering up my little light. All right, so it won't work in the uh, the plastic. I think it has too much of a pull, and it ends up uh, dragging on the plastic. I'm trying this other one. However, this one it liked better. Can you see this? This one took to the cup. Now, it defeats the purpose. I really want to keep reusing a glass jar like this. But check this out. It's, it's working fine. Really quiet, too. So, yeah, it does like it here. Maybe i gotta, I got to adjust the other side a little bit more. But, yeah, that's working. You don't even need to cap it off. That's the perfect speed for it. Let's pin this out. All right. So let's go ahead. I'm going to try one more thing. One second, guys. Let me get this off. All right. Now, to put the paint back in here, I don't mind it pre-mix. I pre-mix a lot of my paint. We're going to go ahead and do what I showed you guys earlier, and that's with this magnetic piece that'll hold the pill in, and we can just pour this right back in. So if I did this with the glass jar, I would just go ahead and clean it. Now we I got the pill, we can just grab that out with this. 
I can either use the magnetic wand that I have here, or at this point I could just dump it right into this paper towel. And uh, I keep a uh, shot glass on the side here, and I usually put uh, stuff in it like this, and I'll put acetone and clean that pill right out. So I'll do that off to the side, let that soak. We got plenty of them here, so we can move on to the next. All right, let's try one more thing. Let's see. All right, let me pan out a little more here. Let me see if I can put this in my, uh, or any of these, but we'll start with mine. Mine happens to be sitting here on the bench. So let's put in a small pill here. All right, let's see what we get. That's the size I'm putting in. All right. Let's see what we get. I mean, it's going to be hard to see, but let's try it. Whoa. It likes to dance. <laughs> oh, man. Let's try it on this one. Oh, this one grips it better. I should have did one with an open side so you guys can kind of see it working its magic. Let's turn it way up. No worries here as far as, uh, oh yeah, it's really stirring it up now. See it? I'm cranking it up. <laughs> Let's see. Is it? Oh yeah, I can see it's mixed. I can see the flow right there. So yeah, so I guess if you go to pour it out, you can grip it on with that and hold it in. Or uh, I use... Actually, I use these for everything, these pipettes. See these? Let me, hold on, let me pin this up. I use these pipettes for everything. But um, I guess if you could get them cheap, I don't know if I can get them that cheap. They're not really that cheap. This package, let me show you what I got. I'm going to open this up as I got it. That's how they came. It was like 7 bucks. I mean, it's not cheap to collect them and put them in everything. The, the problem is, is these BBs didn't weren't magnetic. I have homotype, homotype beads. Let's see if those stick. One second, guys. I'm reaching for them here. These are hematites. Nah, it does nothing. <laughs> no. <laughs> it does nothing. So I don't have anything that's magnetic. So I'm going to have to see if I can find some magnetic... Uh, little BBs, but I think you can get somewhere a bunch of these things much cheaper than this. Um, but it does seem to work, particularly this model. I do like this model. It did most of it quite quite well. It's got a nice grip. It's quieter. It seems to perform as I wanted it to across the board with everything. Um, see, I can't even use my... Hold on, guys. My copper fire. See it? When it gets separated, it would have been great to blend that. You know what? Let's go ahead and try that. One more test. All right? One more test. Let's put uh, one of these pills. What size will fit in here? Let's put one of the big ones. How's that? It's going to beat up the... There's a bearing in there already. Let's go ahead and drop that in. All right. All right. Let the magic begin. Let's do it. Oh, look at that. Crank it up. Oh, it's hitting the ball bearing. <laughs> Oh, it was on the side. There it is. I can let it go. It seems to dance around. <laughs> It'd probably be smooth if the ball... The, I have a giant ball bearing in these. Oh, it mixed it beautifully. Look at that. So, yeah, it did like this. That's for sure. But it's a nice big container, and that's the bigger pill. I have the BB in there already. It shakes up pretty easily, but uh, a beautiful color, isn't that? Oh, look at that color. 
Um, all right, so let's uh, let's pan out and conclude this video. Now, I imagine we could do this with uh, some resin. I have some resin pours that I make for uh, some test. When I want to test grooves, I have the rocks, and um, I pour resin in that. That's a two-part resin, and you stir it up. I imagine you could pour them in there and let this mix up you know, while you're working. You only have so much time to work with. But, uh, again, if you're just using the glass jar and uh, you go ahead and uh, mix them up. There's, I, I got this smaller jar. There's bigger sizes and there's sets. They have this small one, medium, and large, like a full set. Some that are really big that wouldn't come in handy for what I'm using. But if you're going to do a resin mix, you know, the 50-50 uh, resin mix, uh, it, 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 it works out. And the only reason I would recommend it is it's cheap. It's... Uh, 20 something bucks or 29 bucks. I got to see what I paid for it. But um, hold on, guys. I'll look it up right now on my phone. Hold on. Hold on. Wait a second. All right, guys. I'll look it up. I grabbed my other phone here. And uh, this model was 20, uh, 24. And this one is 27. And so the difference of a few bucks, I like this model. I'll put links to both. But I do like this model. I mean, they both do the same thing for three bucks more. This seemed to perform better, and it seemed to be a bit quieter. Let's try it again. As, as it makes, it, oh, yeah, it's not gonna make it. <laughs> it's not gonna be quiet with the BB that I got in there, the ball bearing. But yeah, this one is 27. This one's 24. And here's that beaker, my glass beaker. You can see I buy all this stuff on my own. Uh, five bucks. So there you go for that. That was only five bucks. I'll put a link to that. And there's also. There's others that you get them in a set. See the set for seven? So that's probably the way to go. Look at that. And you get a whole set of them for seven bucks. Um, I'll put a link below. I'll put a link for the single and I'll put a link uh, for the set. Anyway, guys, there you go. That is the test. Um, it works. Uh, I'm going to keep it for a little bit here and uh, use it and see if it does come in handy for me. It does work great with this, that's for sure. And um, this one actually came with the magnetic uh, grabber at the bottom. So there is that. See it holding the pill? So that, that's pretty good, too. So, it, And um, this one comes with a better plug. I do like to have a dedicated plug like that. That's pretty good. Uh, anyway, there you go, guys. That is the quick test. Uh, going, again, you might have different uses other than what I am uh, probably going to use it for. And uh, so for that, I like uh, across the board that uh, you never know what you're going to end up using them for. Anyway, guys, that is the test. And uh, if any links below for everything. Uh, please like the video, subscribe if you haven't already, trying to get our numbers up. We're going to hit that 100,000 at some point this year uh, with a little help from you guys. We like to do two videos a week. I will see you again probably over the weekend, second half of the weekend with another video. Enjoy the rest of your Friday. I have a special announcement with my paints. And uh, let's see if we mix them up again. There we go. Um, there's going to be a third batch of sets coming in. Um... We put up a pre-order now for the full set. So if you missed out or want another set, uh, go ahead and hit the pre-order. They're going to be in within a uh, couple weeks. Uh, coming, I think, within a week or two is my new colors. The metals, the golds, the silver, the the uh, burnt irons, and the, the brass. The, those are all coming in, in within a couple of weeks. So uh, the ball has rolling on those. So while those are coming, we're going to put up pre-orders again for another set of these. The other ones will also be sold in a set. And we'll have a giveaway with those. If anybody wants to pre-order the set now, which is up, um, you'll also be included in the perfect grade giveaway, um, whoever orders a full set. So once this next set, these pre-orders are done through, we'll do our giveaway. So with this way, we include every single person in the giveaway. And then we're going to do another big, an even bigger giveaway for the next set of golds and the, all those colors that are coming up. And i got more colors to add to this line, also coming within a couple weeks. So there you go. Thank you guys so much. You guys are the greatest, greatest viewers I could ask for. I want to say I uh, uh, couldn't do without you guys. So like I said, like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the notification bell. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday and weekend. We'll see you in the second half of the weekend. God bless you all. Have a great day.